This is a special episode of The Money Nest concerning the COVID-19 pandemic that has stricken the world over the past few months. We're hoping that we can shed some light and provide words of encouragement from our standpoint, no matter if you're close by or somewhere else in the world. Welcome to The Money Nest, your source to not becoming a financial liability. You will learn how to become fiscally responsible, save money, and grow that nest egg of yours. The Money Nest is proudly sponsored by A1 Bookkeeping Services, serving small to medium-sized businesses with bookkeeping and providing tax services to people just like you. You can find out more info about them at a-1bookkeeping.com. Now, here are your hosts, Suzanne and Mark McKinney. Welcome, everyone. I'm Mark, and very pleased that you could join us today for this exciting episode. And I'm Suzanne. I'm glad that you took the time out of your day to listen to this special episode here at The Nest. We have our guest host in today. Please say hello to our awesome cohort, Tammy Moran. She works as a payroll specialist and cares about your money and its impact on your life too. Hi everyone, so glad to be here. I'm hoping to not be a stranger on The Money Nest. This episode is being widely distributed both inside and outside the podcast world. So if you're listening outside of a podcast player, then you can catch this and all the other episodes at themoneynest.com, or you can look us up on your favorite podcast player. This edition has something that we all have in common today. Of course, I'm talking about the nasty COVID-19 pandemic that has and continues to interrupt the world as we know it. We never thought in the early stages of releasing The Money Nest that we'd feel that we need to have such a discussion of this nature. You may ask, why are we talking about this subject here? We aren't medical professionals, But we do deal with financial matters, and short of illness, financial problems can happen in many ways. So we felt it was necessary to pass along our thoughts today to add some common sense into the mix. You couldn't be more right. We were hit with this whole pandemic rather quickly, although we knew it was something a while ago. But as it grew bigger and more deadly around the world quickly, it became a much more noticeable problem for sure. Our intentions here are not to create a regular episode of The Money Nest, but we want to provide you with a quick overview of how it may impact your finances. Something that you should keep in mind, though, is that the financial issues you had going into this pandemic and the financial issues that you create during it will still be there when this all blows over. This podcast is heard all over the world, and likely governments in your country, province, or state are doing things to help ease the burden, to make things easier to deal with, It's not the government's job to replace your income, pay your bills, but is there to lessen the impact on your day-to-day routine and financial responsibilities. That's right, Mark. And don't forget, people, that you need to find out if this money that you're going to be receiving from your governments is taxable. Because if it is taxable, you need to make sure you set that amount of money aside come tax time so that you don't have any surprises. We don't have the solutions or the ability to have answers to all your financial concerns as everyone's case is different. One thing we do have in common is solidarity, and it's not something that is only happening in Asia or Africa or South America. It is impacting pretty much every corner of the world, including our backyard. Now, some people can weather the storm a little easier than others, and for those that are okay, well, now is the time that you need to step it up and see what you can do for others. Of course, all the while keeping yourself and others safe. You need to be careful not to break social distancing rules, and be more mindful of those that are more vulnerable to this virus. These are trying times for sure. People don't adapt to change very well. In our area, most people are doing quite well with the changes, but there are still some folks who don't take it seriously as others though. We have noticed along the way that businesses are adapting the best way they can. It's not like anyone had a playbook to pull out on what to do when the world changes so drastically and quickly. With that said, if you do have a business and are trying to stay afloat, You can help yourself, your employees, and the community greatly by keeping things as normal as possible with some adjustments along the way. But normality is what everyone is looking for, so if you can do it, do it. There are several government programs that have already been ruled out, and because of the ever-changing times, the programs are being tinkered with and adjusted every day to help businesses and people the best way possible. It is vital that you find the time you need to make the time to check with your local and federal governments to see what you may be entitled to to help get you through this. Here at our office, we are doing all we can to help our clients. Keep in mind that many of the programs are not meant for us to do all the legwork. In fact, 
it may be up to the employees or business owners to do their part, not necessarily that of their bookkeeper or financial advisor. Depending on the relief package that is being offered, of course, you may get some or a lot of help. For others, there may not be anything available. In most parts of the world that are affected, we haven't even hit the apex of the COVID-19 virus, yet cities and countries have already been on lockdown for weeks with some countries issuing fines and prison sentences to violators. One thing is for sure is that we all must do our part. We may have to sacrifice a little or in some cases a lot to fight this battle. No person is immune to the virus and many are more vulnerable than others. This isn't something that we would normally have to consider, but we're in this for the long haul and we must see what we can do to ease the pain for many others. If this problem doesn't impact us now, and if it goes on too long, then it will start impacting us more and more. It'll impact businesses and people every day. Don't forget to plan for tax increases that will be coming after all of this. Someone needs to pay for all of these stimulus packages. At the end of the day, not only are we trying to do our part and help our community and society as a whole, but we want to pass along our thoughts and advice where we could, even if it's just to help settle someone's mindset or get them on the right path to understand that now is the time to make or break it, meaning that the extra time that you have, you should make good use of it. That's right. You should apply for programs, help others out, keep your business going to the best you can as long as you can. And if you are a business that is impacted by the pandemic and are shut down, it is a good time to retool, come up with fresh ideas, think outside the box. Don't let this virus control you. Do all you can and take advantage of the government programs. Keep in contact with your employees or employer, even if there are no changes. It just gives the impression that you care about each other. Now, don't wait for others to tap you on the shoulder and say, get back to work, or it's time to start your business back up. If you're in a position of being out of work or your business is affected, do all that you can. Others joke that Netflix is the go-to place at a time like this, but that gets old pretty fast and it won't help you out in the long run. We all must look forward to see what's on the other side of the mountain before we get there. Once this virus is history, and it will be, anything that we've done or have not done will impact us when it's over. It all just doesn't go away. The problems will still be there, but now they'll be amplified. Short and sweet. That's what we're intended to be here. But with that said, it's time to wrap things up for a special episode. We hope you found our comments useful and maybe helped to provide a spark of hope along the way. At the end of the day, we are all in this together. The phrases, for example, those people or this is somebody else's problem shouldn't be in play here. It's all our issue. This segment of The Money Nest is brought to you by A1 Bookkeeping Services, where they specialize in bookkeeping for small to medium-sized businesses. They also prepare personal and business tax returns, all at affordable rates. Do you need a bookkeeper? Give A1 Bookkeeping Services a call. You'll be glad you did. Check them out on Facebook or at a-1bookkeeping.com. Now let's get back to helping others and trying to keep some sort of normality to this life as we know it. I agree. Thanks for listening, everyone. It was a pleasure joining in today. Let's do it again. For sure. Bye now and stay safe. Bye-bye. You've been listening to The Money Nest with your hosts, Suzanne and Mark McKinney, brought to you by A1 Bookkeeping Services. We're your source to help you become financially successful while assisting you in building for your future. For more information, visit us at themoneynest.com or send an email to info at themoneynest.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when our next episode is released.